Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. We are going to have a look what is going on with Bitcoin because we are trying to break out higher but we are still getting rejected by this first resistance at around 63k. Let's see what is going on right now and we also have major updates on some meme coins because we have currently a new meme coin that is going completely viral through the internet. There are several articles around these new meme coins uh, that you can read in several crypto websites. We're gonna have a look into that as well guys. So first of all, welcome to everyone in this channel. If you're new, make sure to be subscribed, leave a like and also check out all exchanges that I'm using like Bybit, Maxi Global, Femex and so on with all of them. If you sign up with all of those links, you get some extra bonuses and also you support the channel. Then also check out the newest upcoming meme coins with the official website links that are also here in the video description like Pepe Unchained, the Cat AI, Play Doge, Winner AI. There are many of them that are coming out in the next coming days and weeks. If you want to risk some of your money guys because they are all very high risk but also high rewards if they are going to be successful. We're gonna have a look into that later on but first off here Bitcoin. It is currently still hard to break out higher at least for Bitcoin it is uh, hard and not for us of course uh, we want cheaper Bitcoin we want to buy as much as possible so every kind of rejection is of course always a good buy opportunity because Bitcoin is the best asset in the world and uh, the cheaper we get it the better but anyway guys always DCA into Bitcoin every now and then that is the best strategy to save and accumulate more Bitcoin over time because I was buying Bitcoin in 2017 and 18 for $3,000 for $5,000 for $10,000 right now I'm also buying for $60,000 I'm always DCing into Bitcoin whatever price it is because we know over time it is going up in value because of this bad fiat system that we have right now. As long as we have this bad fiat system out there, it doesn't matter what currency it is. It can be the US dollar, it can be the euro, it can be the Japanese uh, yen, it can be whatever currency. They are all working the same way, guys. Uh, it is based on debts and interests and it, there will be more and more every year. What we don't have more and more every year is Bitcoin, the only asset in the world that no one can take away from you. That's why guys always DCA into Bitcoin. And if here in the next coming hours or days we are having another little leg down, like we also had over here, for example, be happy, accumulate more. But of course, if you're uh, trading, then it is important also to watch out because uh, currently Bitcoin is at the brink, in my opinion, to break out higher, but short term, now in the four hour time frame, we have some problems as you can see 63k is a resistance we had here a couple of fake outs here we had some four hour closes above this resistance trend line but at the moment we are still getting rejected and also we are building up some bearish divergences so we have lower highs in the RSI but we had here this high and this high which led into bearish divergences. This one is playing out right now, in my opinion, and we're coming now down to a major important support here, the median line of the Kelton channels in the four hour time frame. because as long as we have four hour closes above, we are in an uptrend in the four hour. As soon as we have them below, we are in a downtrend like here, here, here or here. And once we break above, then we are entering into an uptrend. So we're coming down to test this important support at $62,300. I think that the bearish divergence most likely will take us even lower than that because if we have a look into the indicators, you can see everything is still shifted to the downside. We are just now about to cross bearish everywhere, although the stochastic RSI, the confirmation indicator, everything is uh, right now breaking down. And that means that most likely we're gonna have some more room to the downside here to test the important support here at around 60K once more, most likely. And then we're gonna see if this is going to end up here in a good buy or long opportunity because I think over the next coming hours we could eventually revisit here the $61,000, maybe even come down towards 60K because if we go over into the CME chart, you can see that since last week, we had here the opening on Monday at 62K and we created a new little CME gap down to around $61,100. So yes, it is possible that maybe we are now on the way to close this gap. And once it is closed, we could eventually go higher as long as this $60,000 or now $61,000 is holding on the daily scale. So in the four hour, we could even week below that is possible. 
but I think here we already could get some support. And in the daily time frame, it is important that we don't have daily closes below 60k because then, of course, it is very, very risky um, that we could see much more downside and um, that the bounce failed. Because I was telling you guys, in the daily time frame, I'm expecting a bounce. Everything is pointed out again to the upside. All indicators are getting fresh new buy signals and bullish crosses, like here my confirmation indicator, which is a lagging indicator, and that one already crossed bullish some days ago. Stochastic RSI also, yes, we are entering into overbought condition, but the stochastic RSI can stay uh, in overbought condition for quite some time important is to see once here we're getting another sell signal in overbought condition and of course also my confirmation indicator into overbought condition and we still have a lot of room left to the upside but you can see that here we are also facing a lot of resistance at the median line of the Kelton channels in the daily time frame here the same story as long as we have daily closes below we are in a downtrend and we are always getting rejected from it and the downtrend continues until we have daily closes above so that means we need daily closes above $63,600. Then we should expect here a nice run up towards the top side of the Kelton channels, which is coming down to the bearish retracement at $66,500. I told you guys, this is the mother of all resistances right now, because if we see this bounce uh, to continue, this is the final important resistance that needs to get broken at $66,500. If we break it and we start to go higher and higher, I think, we will see immediately the continuation of this bull run and probably go towards new all time highs. If we get rejected here, most likely this is one of the first lower highs in comparison to here at around $71,000 and also here at $74,000. And that means that over the next coming weeks and months, we're gonna go much, much lower, probably at the end towards um, $45,000 to $47,000. Because remember, over in the monthly time frame, I was starting to be bearish once we had this confirmation sell signal on uh, the monthly scale, uh, which happened in May. We confirmed this sell signal. This is a big warning sign. That doesn't mean that we enter into a bear market and Bitcoin will go down to zero. That doesn't mean that. That just means that we eventually could come back down, most likely to retest important support levels like the breakout point here at 47k which is now matching also with the median line of the Kelvin channels and we also have the 20 monthly moving average which is catching up uh, slowly and that's why yes in my opinion right now also because of the fact that we close below the top side of the Kelvin channels here we could come down to, to test here the 47k the median line of the Kelvin channels over time and then afterwards maybe continue the bull run as long as we are getting supported here I'm telling you that guys, I told you, I'm starting to be bearish on the monthly time frame. Of course, everything can change quickly. For example, if this month, if this was a fake out and this month we're gonna close again above the top side of the Kelvin channel, so back above $65,000, then in my opinion, we will continue the bull run and this was a, a little fake out. It is of course also possible that we are getting fooled at some point, but um, right now it is more looking bearish than bullish because you see that every time we had monthly closes again below the top side of the Kelvin channels like here in this run up in 2020 once we had again monthly closes below retracement to the median line of the Kelvin channels then bounce from it rejected at the top side came down to the median line bounce from it but then huge bear market crash same thing also here rejection crash to the median line here again monthly closes within the Kelvin channels after this bull run in 2017 up to 20k boom big crash to the median line of the Kelvin channels, bounce, but at the end we entered into the, this big bear market. And basically every time we dip below or we stay below the median line of the Kelvin channels in the monthly, this is always a very, very good buy opportunity uh, for the long term for Bitcoin. I don't expect that this will happen with this upcoming correction that in my opinion will happen in the next coming months, but at least we should be prepared for that. And uh, also here, retracement into the Kelvin channels, crash to the median line, bounce, and then bear market crash. This is repeating all the time, guys, and I don't know why this time it should be different because we are getting everything set up like in previous times whenever we had those sell signals and also retracements into the Kelvin channels in the monthly time frame. That's why I like to use the Kelvin channels. This is a very powerful um, indicator in all time frames to see in, in if we are in a downtrend, in an uptrend, if we are overbought, if we are oversold, and also if um, we should expect a retracement 
um, back to the median line or also a bounce into the median line whenever we are in oversold condition. So that's why I'm very concerned about that. But of course, short term things can change very quickly. And also short term, short term, I'm still expecting a potential bounce into the 66K area. And then we're going to see what will happen. And meanwhile, I think that the Bitcoin dominance now has also the chance to fall off the cliffs because also here we are seeing everything crossing bearish. And here I'm expecting very soon a drop down towards the 51 to 50 percent. And if we're going to drop 4 percent in the Bitcoin dominance, it is possible that we could eventually see um, also a, an altcoin season with the upcoming bounce that I'm expecting here on the daily time frame for Bitcoin. That's why I'm currently bullish on some altcoins because of the Bitcoin dominance. And also, if you want to diversify to some altcoins, you can do that, for example, over on Bybit. You can buy uh, Ethereum, Solana and so on. We have a top notch uh, altcoin list. Uh, you can buy all of them if you want. Remember, guys, this is no financial advice. Just uh, do your own research and invest into assets that um, um, you're willing to risk your money because all of them, of course, are high risk. Also, meme coins like Pepe. Dogecoin, Floki, Shiba Inu, they're all high risk, but if you don't risk, although you cannot get high rewards if you don't risk. And um, if you don't want headache, then just buy Bitcoin. I have 95% of my portfolio into Bitcoin, but also, of course, I'm risking um, a bit with some meme coins, with some old coins as well. I have also Ethereum, Solana, and so on. I also have Ordinals, Orange Token. Yes, some of them, they got decimated right now, but I am bullish for the project. I'm buying them for the long term. I don't care if they're crashing down. If Ordi, for example, is crashing down to $1 and then is recovering again to $100, I don't care. I like the project. I like to have those uh, coins. Also, Ordi I like because it has the same supply like Bitcoin 21 millions. And I bought 210 of them. I'm going to keep them for the long term. Because imagine you would have uh, gotten 210 Bitcoin at the time when Bitcoin was worth a few dollars. So uh, you wish to have kept it like forever basically and never sold it because you see over time uh, they are raising in value. And I hope that with already one day it's going to be the same thing. Who knows that? But with those meme coins and with those uh, new altcoins and BRC20 tokens and so on, you can at least hope for that. And uh, yeah, that's it for Bitcoin, guys. I'm expecting that bounce, but um, the monthly time frame is still looking bearish. As long as there, I, I'm, we, we don't cross bullish again. I have to be very concerned. But um, meanwhile, you can, for example, also invest into some high risk meme coins. If you want to try uh, like a thousand X, it is possible. Currently, the number one very hyped meme coin is Pepe Unchained. Go with the official link that you find here in the video description for Pepe Unchained. This one will bring you to the official website where you still can stake it for a nice over 1000% API. Because I told you guys, those coins, you have to buy them very early before they're coming out. Like Pepe Unchained or also BitDoge. Uh, we have Wiener AI. Cat AI is finished. This one is done. You cannot buy it anymore. So congratulations to everyone that bought very early. Because uh, if you bought with me, I did a tutorial video when I bought it. I bought 25,000 and you see that I have almost 200,000 uh, in uh, staking rewards on this one. And as soon as this one is coming out, I can immediately dump on the first big pump that usually those meme coins are getting uh, with their first uh, listing on DEXs. And later on, once they're getting on uh, regular centralized exchanges, then often they pump even more. And those uh, meme coins, you can buy all of them if you want. Uh, also, Pepe Unchained is still ongoing. If you missed out on that, uh, there is also still BitDoge going on, Wiener AI, uh, PlayDoge we have. All the links are here in the video description if you want to buy them. And yes, they are very high risk, but you see what happens with them, guys. Also, recently we bought Dogeverse, and also here I, I sold off everything that I staked with the first two big pumps that we got. And right now we're in this big sell-off phase. And if you go to all the other meme coins uh, like um, Pepe, for example, also here, this is the weekly time frame. You see at launch we had the big pump, but then we had many, many weeks, uh, big sell-offs and it went completely down uh, almost to, yeah, you see the price. I cannot even tell how many zeros uh, behind the zero uh, there, is, <laughs> there is because... Uh, uh, it went basically down to zero, but then immediately uh, once it got hyped again, we had this huge big pump. And not only Pepe, we had this. We had this also with Floki. Also here you see 
huge big pump at launch and everyone sold off of course their tokens especially the ones that bought on their official websites like you can do right now over on Pepe, BitDoge, WinnerAI, CAD AI is already done but um, everyone was selling off their tokens here of course with this big pump and this is what this is how those new meme coins are working and once they're crashing and selling off at some point they will come back and then of course it's always good to have some of those tokens maybe the first initial ones that you bought um, uh, for the long term here because then you don't have to chase the run because once they're going ballistic again to the upside you can then then again take profits and you never have to buy them again and uh, Shiba also same story with Shiba Inu once it came out huge big pump everyone was talking about this token then we had a big crash and once it got listed on exchanges and the hype was back we had another big pump and then a huge crash and for a very long time uh, we just stayed down here like we're seeing for example and right now on Dogeverse but once we have an exchange listing once the hype is back then of course those meme coins are moving and this is of course then the time when it is good to take more and more profits and you have to buy them when everything is crashing or you have to buy them before they're coming out, take profits on their first initial pump and then maybe the rest of it keep it for the long term because at some point they will come back and then of course um, uh, you can take even more profits. But currently Pepe Unchained is really the biggest uh, hyped meme coin that is coming out in the next coming days and weeks. We don't know when it's coming out but this one is selling off very quickly. You can see also the staking rewards which are coming down every day a lot and also they have raised now uh, almost two millions. When, when I bought it, it was not even half a million. So this one is selling off fast as well, guys. Remember, high risk but also high rewards uh, uh, if you're buying those uh, tokens. Always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, if you want to play around with those meme coins here in the crypto space, then of course uh, you will find a nice list from the ones that I bought personally here in the video description, like Pepe Unchained. Uh, then we also have uh, uh, BitDoge, the new Dogecoin on Bitcoin. We will see what happens with that one, but uh, otherwise I think Pepe Unchained is the most hyped right now. And uh, yeah, if you also want to buy others, play Doge, Winner AI are also around. Play the Hamster Combat game, the link is also here in the video description. If you want to play uh, this game, it is going completely viral right now. This one, you cannot buy the in-game token, you can only get an airdrop if you're playing that game during this month. This month will be the airdrop of Hamster Combat, we will see how much it will be. But important is that you're just playing the game and be um, eligible to get an airdrop once this is coming out. Most exchanges are going to list Hamster Combat uh, token uh, um, and once this is out then of course I'm going to update you. So stay subscribed here, thank you for watching guys and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.